Have you ever wanted to feel like Iron Man having shots bounce directly off you while you plow your way through the enemy team? If you answered yes to this, sign up today because this may be the pickup for you. No, I'm serious, sign up. It's free to play right now. It's in the open beta. I must say, I've never felt like such an absolute beast just walking around with this pickup. As soon as you pick this up, well, at least when I did, the first time I did it, it even gave me like a cinematic sound effect. Like you know that you're going into battle and you're gonna destroy some people. Which I should mention, from here on out, this will be an entire single life. Clearly that's all he did was watch it. You're supposed to duck for cover. It's a grenade. I'll be honest, I haven't decided which I actually like more. This pickup or with the flamethrower. The flamethrower can actually reach an extreme distance, which I will be talking about hopefully in another video. Now at the beginning, when I initially came across somebody using this pickup, I thought it might have been a little bit broken, in the sense that it was a little bit too strong to go up against 1v1. And obviously that makes sense. If you get the pickup, you're not supposed to be able to 1v1 the guy that has it, unless you're using the environment to your advantage and using grenades. Grenades actually tend to do a lot of damage to this guy. I think I, there's one part in this video where I'm at about 92 health and I drop down to, I think, 28? I can't remember for sure. So if you're looking on killing them, use grenades. Or you can run them over with a vehicle. I did that to somebody. He saw my tank and then he got really afraid, so he ran behind a wall that wasn't really safe. And I just drove right through the wall with the tank. Flattened them instantly. I tell you what. Only in Battlefield. That's what I love about the series. There's always crazy stuff that happens that you can never predict. And it's so unscripted that it just turns out hilarious. Ooh. I sure hope he has Obamacare. But back to what I was saying before about me thinking that the pickup was a little bit too strong, or the pickups in general. This guy thought he could fight me mid-range. But this is the part right here. I was at 90 health and I dropped down to 28. So it goes to show you how much damage that they actually do. And I wasn't even standing directly on the nade. Now at first when I did think that they were a little bit too strong, that was when I didn't know how to actually face them. And I think that guy just learned as well that you can't face them head on apply directly to the forehead. If you got that reference, then you're a beast. Another thing to note is that you can actually regenerate your health with these pickups. It does take a little while, but if you sit in a corner long enough, 
you will end up regenerating back up to full. Which is great when you want to head off and do your own thing. Try to take out the whole enemy team by yourself. Kind of like I'm trying to do. He panicked, swung at me. His baton was no match for the MG. I do want to mention a couple more things about the pickups. One is that you can actually get ammo back on this guy if you have somebody throw you down some ammo, which is seems to be extremely rare, at least in the open beta. I can ask forever while looking at somebody. <laughs> no one will ever give me ammo. I don't know why. It's very rare that you would ever run out of ammo on this guy, though. And if you do, then either you're doing really well or you can't hit the broadside of a barn. Hopefully, the aforementioned. The second thing that I wanted to mention is that you can actually go in vehicles with these guys. So, what I like to do is, as soon as the game starts, you spawn up, and you run to the spot where you know the pickup's gonna be, pick it up, and then you get back in a vehicle and you drive off. Generally, on this map, I like to go into the town on Sea Flag, because that's the only close quarters combat that you're gonna get. And with this guy, it's extremely difficult to obviously pick off people long range, they're gonna have the advantage on you, no matter what gun they're using. Except for this guy. He opted for the shotgun at close range. <laughs> I don't know why or what he was thinking. I killed him a couple times and he kept coming back with a shotgun. It's not going to do anything at that range, man. And I must say, people's footsteps in this seem to sound the similar to horses. At least how loud they are. Like this guy. I heard him a mile off. I consider myself to use some pretty decent headphones, but I don't have 7.1 surround sound and I could definitely pinpoint where he was. But that's all the time I have. I want to show you guys some of this gameplay, and after this, it's going to be completely commentary-less, if that's a word. I ended up joining the game late, but we made a solid push towards the enemy territory. So thank you for watching this far in the video, hope you guys enjoy the rest, and I will catch you guys in the next one.